Morning, peeps. Um, just a fucking... I'm having a shit day again. I've just been watching some of my videos. The last one that I put up was where I'm setting the car. <clears throat> and I'm on about that bloke in the doctors. If you haven't seen it, look at the, the, the video that I posted before this. Because this is going to be on YouTube. Um, a lot's happened since then. And it's wild. It's It's... No explanation for it. So, I'm going to try and put the pictures and screenshots and everything that I've got to prove what I'm saying because no fuck is going to believe this shit unless you're spiritual and you're, you're open-minded like me then you might but I want to, I like to prove it um so yeah this the, uh, my last video where I was talking about the guy uh, when I went to the doctors and chemo and stuff like that and where we can be leaflets and whatnot <clears throat> so that all that information's on my last video since that day um my head has just fucking exploded. So, I went to some Reiki... Reiki, is it? Is it am I saying that right? Reiki kind of thing. A woman that me and my dad know, um, she does it. And, and the, when she first did it, I was stunned. Because she... she, was she I, think, I don't know if she's doing some, some kind of massage. I don't know if she even touched me. I can't remember uh, what George did. But I remember at the end of it, because I had my eyes shut and I was just laid face down on a fucking bed with me in like a toilet fucking seat. <clears throat> just some music and bells and stuff on and whatnot. And I opened my eyes and because I could see, obviously my head's in like a toilet for this bed seat, I could see the, the, the bed legs in front of my face and round the entire edge of, of the legs and, and what I could see of the bed and um, I think it was like a cabinet with a telly on which is sort of in front of me. It was all sparkling purples and, and strange. And I said that to her instantly. <clears throat> so George, if you're watching, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And it took me back and it was like, wow, fucking hell. Anyway, you know, a couple of months went past. This was, I don't know, not a couple of months, a couple of weeks. Say a month now, maybe a month and a half or whatever. I don't know. Um, which brings me to all the things that have been happening. I went to see um, Penny. I don't know, is it Penny Humphreys? Paul, Paul Humphreys' wife? I don't know. Call Penny. Um, yeah, and, and uh, I went to have this, this Reiki stuff with her again. Um, as I walked in, you know, as you imagine, some people might know, some people might not. They've got, like, all crystals around the side, and it's like a, a candle-lit room. It's all really um, relaxing and, and, and calm. And, yeah. So... She goes to me, um, talks to me for 10 minutes and that, you know, gets an idea of, of what's going on in my head and, and, and kind of told me how I am without me even saying a fucking word to her, <laughs> which straight away was like, wow, okay, what the fuck's going on here? So, gets on the bed, I lay face down like I did before, she went to me, no, no, you need to be laid on your back, looking at the ceiling. Oh, okay, so, like I am now, I mean, I'm, I'm my head's propped up, but I was, I was laid flat with, um, there was like a little pillar behind me. Um, and, a, and a warm um, flannel or, or something over my eyes. So, I, you know, it's like this. If I open my eyes, my eyes are open now. I can't see or a cord through my fingers. That was black. Nothing at all. Doesn't matter if I open my eyes, I can't see nothing. So, I'm sat there and I'm kind of a bit... I'm always open to everything. But I'm like, I want to try it. I, wa I want to see for myself, you know. Um, not that I don't believe, because I really do. Anyway, I was in for the fucking shock of my life. So, um, I'm laid on this bed and my eyes are shut and, and, and she's not touching me. I'm just getting these, like, smells and, and things. And I can hear her sort of making, like, sort of sounds and, and maybe like this. I don't know what she's doing. I couldn't see. Which is where it got strange, because... I was noticing my breathing was sort of, you know, really quite in and out slowly. I thought, I'm not doing that. I'm just, so I was kind of in a state of, I'm aware what's going on around me, but I was just too, ah, to fucking even bother. So it carried on and fucking hell. This thing got so intense that I've never in my life... It takes a lot for me. I mean, 
posting these little fucking, I think it's twice that I fucking had a proper meltdown and I posted it. That took everything. I can't even break down in front of my fucking wife properly. This woman who I never fucking met had what I felt like my eyes underneath this fucking warm flannel streaming down my face. Breathing in like this and breathing out. But each time that I was doing it, it was like she was controlling what I was doing. And I'd hear this as I've fucked off, it's like, fuck off, shit, go away, overpowering feeling of, 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 I don't know, but the thing that really questioned me, baffled me, was when I was laid there, to start with, it was like I was dead, I was in a coffin box, but I could still see the room that I was in, even though I've only seen it for a few minutes, and now there's this big fucking warm flannel thing over my eyes and I can't see nothing it is black um to which again like I say I'm just going to close my eyes because it's, this is how it was is from here it started off as a, as a really bright white um like flash that, that was kind of coming in and the closer it got to like the, the middle of, like coming past my eyes it was getting blue and more blue and this really fucking lovely blue um but that'd go and, and, and i'd be drawn into something else and there was a lot to it which is bring, what brings me to spirits james screeton one of the lads that uh, i connected with quite well you, you might have heard me speak about him he died fairly recently uh, a few weeks ago and that hit me quite hard um and he wasn't the first person that came I don't know who was, but I know there was four, possibly five. Um, and I saw my granddad. He died 13, maybe 14 years ago. Maybe even getting on for 15. I don't, I don't know. It's on the back of my neck. I can't see it. <laughs> um, and, and and he had a thing of of me and my dad and my granddad. All this, this sort of little thing of of, of doing this. It was never, would never really speak nice words to each other even though I was really small it was always like that between my granddad and my dad and I, I sort of kind of just don't know it it it'd become a thing and it, I felt that and then that exactly on my face like my eyes were shut and it was like bang there bang on where it fucking is I was like wow okay and my granddad never liked tattoos I'm covered in fucking tattoos he never 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 liked them oh you look bloody rubbish or something like that you know um to which I saw a lot of purple and I thought that's that's probably me on my own mind with with, with the purples um there was some greens coming through which is I've, I've been using a lot of purple and greens for mental health than this fucking cancer that I've got and then it's somewhat he changed into this purple and I couldn't think because I always thought my granddad's favourite colour was yellow it's not. It's purple. That stunned me a little bit. He didn't speak to me. He, he, I couldn't hear him. <clears throat> but he was there. He he. My arms and fingers, right? Oh, that's fucking awkward. My arms and fingers, right? Say I'm, I'm laid like this. Uh, my arms were like almost on my legs, like this. And my fingers, at, at, at some point, just went. Just them two. Just, just, just like that. Just them two. Like that. I was laid like that. <clears throat> and I was like, wow. <clears throat> now, anyone that's that's got kids or, had, or, you know, maybe as a kid, if your mum or dad had, had ever played with you and say, you know, uh, if you push your arm against a, a door so hard for, for maybe a minute or so and come away and relax your muscles, your arm will slowly sort of come like this. That is the exact fucking feeling that I had in both my arms when the beside my legs... I'm completely relaxed, my feet are like this, <laughs> ignore my socks, my feet are like this, I'm sort of laid like this, and my arms both um, together, seemingly the same height, everything, I wasn't moving, my fucking arms must have moved what felt maybe about that, I couldn't tell you, I will have to ask Penny because I was so taken back after this, I was lost for words, um, and I didn't ask her, so... Um, that was very, very strange for me. 
I've I've seen spirit, I'm not seen spirit, but I've I've been in contact with spirits before. I've seen things happen. You know that that doesn't bother me. I'm very open. Um, I'm gonna leave James till last, but I think he was he was around this area. But um, there was there was two people. There was two people, and there was white, and there was to my left side of this fucking room. It's like I could see the room, and I could see these. Well, a person. But the other one, I couldn't. I, it was just white. I couldn't. I couldn't make out who it was or what it was. It, it was something or someone. Now this other person, I originally said to Bex, um, we went to her mum's. Uh, not fucking hell. Whew, not a mum's. Uh, 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 nana's or grandma's uh, grave, and we cleaned it all up, made it all really lovely. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I think it was a, maybe a, a birthday or, or, or some some something that Bex needed wanted to go down there for. So we did. And that came into my mind, re uh, you know, after recently, thinking, I said to her, do you think it could be on that? Because I, I saw this, this, it was almost like, it, I, cu I couldn't see the, 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 these people properly, but the, the vibe and, the, and, the, and, and what I got from it was, it was a picture of a black and white picture, which I think now is my grandma, but I'm going to speak about this first, is, it was like a, a black and white, really white skin, because obviously there's no fucking colour. Um, brown wavy as here not not tight curls but it's like wavy with like some kind of i want to say like crown thing on the red just you know like a, a tiara like it like a tiara fucking thing on the red <coughs> and she went to me oh no 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 she went, how long's the ear because my nana did have sort of wavy ish gingery brown ear in a black and white photo that'll probably come across brown i was gonna say so um she was like, oh no, no, don't think it is. Um, don't think it's there. I'm just gonna have to stop because I think Becky was back. One minute. So yeah, we um, we didn't really think it was uh, um, Becky's grand by the end of it. I kept getting yellow, a lot of yellow, and even now it's 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 kind of a bit. Hmm. I don't really know who's yellow or what's yellow. Why am I seeing yellow? Um, that kept coming and going, and in between that, this is what I'm coming to, um, it turned into a very, very deep, lovely, lovely red. I've never been keen on red, other than my quad. Um, and, and, and piece by piece, my mind was sort of in this zone of putting it all together, of, of thinking of things and, 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 and weirdly piecing it together. Not like I would normally think. Strange. It was like I could see it building. This fucking picture in my head. Um, which is when I broke. Uh, and I'm not going to do it now. Uh, hmm. It was James. Uh, and he spoke to me. Saying. Uh, something about. Um. Um, my dad just phoned me then. What a time to ring me. Uh, as I was saying. Um, with this deep red. It was James, and, and, and he said to me, um, something or other, you can't, you know, uh, London accent, the, the guy was originally from London. Um, and of course I've heard his voice, so you know, this, this could be my mind playing, but it, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't. Um, he, I saw him. I saw him, and it didn't look like the videos, you know, that had been posted before, where he's been back on chemo, he was really thin, he's, he's lost his hair and that, and, you know, whatever else. Um, he he had dark hair, like like on some of the pictures that I've seen of him, and he looked well. Um, he said he said a couple of things to me, but it, it was it was cunt. <laughs> Cunt. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> what else did he say? Uh, th th there was something, and I can't fucking for the life remember me. Remember it. Um. I can't remember, but he, he was there. He was there. And 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 and, and with the the bloke and, and all the other stuff that I've seen. Um. Sorry, I ain't even mentioned that. I'm getting fucking tied up in this shit. Um. <laughs> There was the uh, Primark bags, 
me and Vex went and spent some donation money that obviously we've been getting in for doing the bridge and you know helping people out and whatnot. Um, there was um, we went to Primark and we spent quite a lot on the kids and, and got me some new gear and some new gear bits and bobs. You know, treating ourselves. So we spent a couple hundred quid in there. I was like, fuck, we have to get you know quite a lot of the, the better bags. You know, we don't want to fucking split it as we're walking around town, sort of thing. Blah blah blah. Um, so we went to the black car. Can we, can we have like one of your your more heavy heavy duty bags? Yeah, yeah, okay. How many do you want? I was like, ah, fucking, what we need? Two, three, whatever. I'll post a picture in the, in after this video. Um, the 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 bags, ironically, and and and, and as mad as it is was breast cancer awareness um with a very similar color to 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 this i'm all about purple and breast cancer is obviously pink this was this was between them both and i thought how ironic is it that today i've had to well we've had to get the the other bags that ribbons on it it's you know breast cancer awareness this that the other it's all signs it's all things that are linking together and i was buzzing after that i was like wow and it gets a lot fucking more wild because as walking out of um, Primark in, uh, towards you know like the old bus station, I don't know whether you guys you, you might not be familiar with that, but you come out of Primark and it's it's a two minute walk to, to like outside. So I went outside and me and Bex were gonna hooking vape and whatnot. And I was like, you know, talking about these these bags. I was like, it's fucking insane. Anyway, as I, as I turn round, um, little white feathers. People that are spiritual and, and believe in this stuff, these white feathers, you'll know what I'm talking about. Was there directly in front of me, and I was like, my, my hair's now was standing up. Um, I was like this, oh, fucking hell. So after that, we we walked in. And I was like, wow, I'm I'm a bit dry now. I need to get a fucking drink. So obviously, people, Grimsby people, know you go back in through from where the bus station was, and there's like a pound shop. Just, just, just as you come in, a couple of shops in. So me and Bex went in there. <laughs> and I was kicking myself because I was thinking, I don't want any fucking sugar-filled fucking shit. I want, like, something refreshing, but uh, not with a, nothing bad sort of thing. So as I'm sort of looking in the fridge, I don't pay attention to really what's around me sort of um, on the radio, in, in shops kind of thing. If I hear it, I hear it. I don't know. And Bex went to me, can you wear that? I don't think she actually hit me that hard, but she was like, did you wear that? Whatever, whatever she said. Ah, what are you fucking on about? I'm just, I'm just trying to look for a drink. That day, before I say this song, I was having a fucking meltdown. And, and I need, needed uh, Elton John, I'm Still Standing. That's one of my really power the fuck up songs. And I broke down and I had it, I had it on this, that, that morning before all any of this. Um, the, the town thing I'm talking about. Um... And, and I managed to pull myself out, obviously, clearly. And and, and she went to me, that's the, 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 this song, that's on, like, can you wear it? And I was like, really listening? Because it's, you know, you people talking and in shots, it's a bit muffly. So I'm listening, I'm trying a video, and I fucking heard it. Now you all know which song I'm going to say it was, which I wouldn't even believe. I wouldn't believe my fucking self. So I've got no evidence of this, because the video that I got, it was, you couldn't hear it. You've got to believe me. It insane and it doesn't get it, it, it carries on so I'm fucking pumped in this shop still hurting but I'm fucking wired I'm like oh god me walking through uh, to town because we're parked the other, fucking right the other side you know the, the, the car parked right the other side it's probably about a mile's walk I don't know um and and there was a, there was a beamer that caught, caught, caught my attention before we went into town as well a white beamer X5 um, ADD was was the last three and it didn't mean anything to me I was like why am I looking at this this white beamer with ADD I didn't it didn't make sense so I didn't say oh I just carried on and and when we come back which I'm talking about now when we come back from town back to the car Dex went to me ADD yeah, didn't say anything because I wanted to see what sh what had brought her attention to it. She went, "That's attention deficit disorder." I was like, "Okay, it didn't really sort of make sense." And 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 it still doesn't really to to now, but it was a strange thing. 
And this is where it gets even fucking wilder because the picture that I'm going to put up of this, I can't actually remember what it says, so bear with me. It is on a uh, white Mercedes uh, on like the B pillar, which is your doors here. It's this this pillar here that's like next to your door. Um, it was a little circle badge with, with something on it, and it says, uh, "By endurance we conquer." <laughs> wow! Next to my car in a disabled spot, and I was like, "Fucking holy shit!" This, what the fuck? I didn't check the other side of the car to see if there's another one on the other side. I just saw that my side, like my doors here, their passenger sides here. Obviously, it's packed next to each other, both the same way. And I couldn't fucking believe it. I, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. These, these, what, four, five, maybe six things? In a space of maybe an hour and a half, two hours? It fucking blew my mind. Again, obviously, Penny and, and, the, and the Reiki was, was, um, was after this. Yeah, after this, this. It was a couple of days ago. So, that's where I am in my mental state which talking about this really does bring me out because I've had a fucking shit morning again I need to shave I look a fucking mess so um it kind of leads me on to this spiritual fucking thing and I really want to connect and start meditating and oh fuck me I forgot to say some more stuff about that um reiki thing <laughs> that wasn't it I believe I spoke to God himself. He didn't speak to me, but I spoke to him and Jesus. And I saw a lot of crosses, two crosses, big, big church. Or I was in a church with massive stained glass roof thing. You know on Titanic where the, 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 the movie, uh, the film, um, where the water comes through that top roof bit? And it's all like glass and that. That is very, 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 very similar to what this was, but it was all churchy, stained, lovely colours and, and stuff. But like the closer I went up to it, I don't know how. It was never. It, it didn't end. It was just white. It was just sorry. This it was. Just, it, it, it was. It was a tunnel. That it was just white. And then I come into this other place. But the more I talk about it, it's like it's fading out my head. And I can't remember as vividly as much as I wanted to say when I was laid on that bed table thing, sat there with her. I said to her, my words exactly was, I've got no words. I've got, I, I've, I've got no words. Wow. I couldn't actually believe it myself. Because when I went in, like I said to you, I'm an open person, but... I like to experience things, I like to feel things because then I can do stuff like this and, and, and it, it clarifies in my own head that I'm not going fucking insane um that fucking rain fuck's sake so yeah, um I've probably missed a hell of a lot of stuff off because there's a lot of information and, 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 and things flying around my head but wow wow um so I'm, I'm going to carry on to the to the ha me donations and stuff like that that we've had in. Um, I have put a post, post on Facebook. I'm going to just screenshot that rather than me talk at all because it takes fucking forever. Um, I'm just my head. It's just wow. So so yeah. Well, the reason why I've done this video is because um, all these signs influence me to take this uh, chemo again. It's not Dr. Rivers and Dark Abazine. It's um, Gentax. I don't, I don't know what the full names are from Gentax. Two drugs, um, not combined on the same day like uh, the other one was. This is on. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> this is on day, say, one and day four, I think he said. Um, and I've been on an hour about it for a while because when I do feel good, I do feel good. But I've been feeling really shit a lot recently. And I don't know if that's to do with this because when I do feel good in here, the whole thing follows. And I've sent it to so many people. Keep this good, and ninety-five percent of the time, this will fucking follow because I'm all right at the minute. I feel all right. As <laughs> soon as my mind starts to get idle um, or bored, that's when the shit really fucking hits me. Really hits me. You know, everyone say, "Look, you're so fucking strong," and that I'm not. It's just I've got a. Uh, uh, a way of kind of soothing myself I suppose don't get me wrong 
I have had sh extreme rage, anger, um, every fucking emotion you can think of that I've had to try and keep away from Becky, the kids, my family, as best I can. That's been hard. I've been very short with people, obviously not purposely, um, and it's it's just very very fucking hard because adults understand. Whereas if I was to sell my kids off for something that didn't really need an irrational response to it, then they're gonna that's gonna affect them, and I can't have it. So <clears throat> the chemo thing. Um, the more I fucking think about this yellow, I just I feel like it's that. But at the same time, I'm being drawn towards my grandma. And I don't fucking know what it is. Maybe I need to go again to get to, to clarify, to, to see what this fucking yellow is. James, red. My granddad, purple. There was a light blue. I don't know what the light blue was. Originally, I thought it was one of my mates, Phil. Um, green, there was quite a lot of green. I, I'm, I'm associating that with... with my uh, fight against mental health. Hello. <laughs> I'll finish this in a sec. So I'll start again. Um, yeah, I think that was to do with my own mental health. Um, I don't, I don't really know. I'm just the fucking. The more I think about it, the more confusing it gets. Whereas before, it was like when I was when I was there, everything made perfect sense. Um. Yeah, so that's where I am. I think um, this chemo shit and that, it's. I've got to think what's going to be best. Because at the end of the day, the doctor said to me, regardless of what you do, you've got months to live, Luke. All he said was months. Now, I've got clarification on what he meant by months. Um, him and that nurse in the oncology place that I'm at um, have now said to a member of my family that rang up, it's between, was it four and six months, or three and six months, four and six, one of, you can say longest I've got is fucking six months. Um, and the way I'm feeling recently, I can kind of believe that. Because it's not the physical pain. The fuck, the physical pain, really, don't get me wrong, it, it's, it's, it's more than I've ever felt in my life. Um, but I'll let you out in a second. Um, the mental side of it is 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 like the motherboard of the of your body, and it is like the, the the control unit. So when that goes down, everything else goes down. Which is why, like I said to a lot of people recently, is I'm now uh, as well as my oils and everything else that I'm using, which are obviously helping at no end. Um, whether they are aiding in any way or shape or form like they was, which I believe they was, I don't know, I can't tell you that. Um, but they are significantly helping my head, which in turn will help my body. I'm not a doctor. These are not facts. These are just what a fucking 34 year old cancer patient saying. <laughs> if you want to believe me, believe me. If you don't, you don't. If you know, one day this might become someone's fucking survival fucking guide. I don't fucking know. You know, see how long it lasts. Um, so... Oh, I don't know what I was fucking saying. Oh yeah, um, I've I, fucking hell. I've I've now been uh, smoking uh, some of the the herbal uh, herbal stuff. If you know what I'm saying. <clears throat> the other night when when my head was very very bad, I posted it on Facebook. Some of you might have seen that I had eight or nine of these herbal infused rolls, which we'll call them. Um, now I'm, I'm a small guy. Like I don't understand how how it affects your body or any any, any of that kind of stuff. You know, if you want to ask that, ask Andy, not me. Um, I had I had seven or eight pretty fucking well loaded infused rolls, <laughs> um, and by the end of it, I was just coming down uh, to uh, to a, a mental okay state. It took that much. Um, uh, it took that much to get to, to, to get my head there. I'm only a fucking little bloke now. I mean, I've never been a big bloke. I'm 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 about fucking eight stone one. I mean, every year seems to be like ten stone fucking five, something like that. 
you can see in my face, you can see in everything that I've lost fucking weight. But I don't know whether I don't, I don't know how it works. Um, but it took that much. Whereas before, if you'd have said to me, you know, here's a joint, pre any of this, I, I probably would have smoked it and been fucking white eating upstairs or something. So obviously, I know how much oils I consume and, and whatever else daily, um, and my body's adapted and my THC tolerance is, I imagine, quite high compared to some. I'm not saying I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fucking machine or oh no i'm not i'm i'm just a fucking guy trying to fucking live so with, with with that in mind people saying to me about speaking about it so freely i will speak about it fucking freely because there's nothing in this fucking world that will stop me getting my word out about defeating this fucking thing not letting it defeat me keeping my fucking life helping as many people as i possibly can in my darkest hours as well as trying to be there for me kids my wife every fucker else, I am going to beat this fucking piece of shit. I don't know how, but I believe I'm going to beat it. Even on my shit days, even on my shit days, I know I will beat this fucking thing because I've got a determination and drive. And my determination and drive is my fucking kids, Becky, my entire family, my friends, the support network that I've got. Now, if you watch this far, thank you very much. Um, I'm just probably rambling because I don't know. Um, I'm going to put them pictures and videos and stuff at the end of this. I don't know how long I've been talking, but if you uh, if you watched it like a few video people watched my 40, 40 odd minute video the other day when I was out stupidly early, thank you very much. You know your your support is very 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 valuable to me. Um, as is fucking ridden the world of this shit which nobody's going to ever be able to do are they but one last thing when I was on Cannabis Health Radio Canada, Canada Radio Cannabis Health um, they said to me um, in fact I'll link it in the in the description so you can read, so you can listen to it if you want to listen to it that they said um, something about um, prognosis or, or cause or, or whatever so the prognosis now is obviously uh you know, it's it's uh, a fox, <laughs> basically, um, and 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 I kind of responded with the fact of I believe, and I really do, and I've I've probably been the first or one of the first people to say this when I was at zero, which was a couple of years ago when COVID was about. You know what I'm going to say? I genuinely, genuinely believe that COVID jab has, has caused this because it's in that time frame. My cancer is a, is a muscle-based cancer which will eat me from the inside out. Which is why it hurts so much because it's eating my muscle and, and, and shit or whatever it's doing. You know, and I know that much. So, it's a very unpopular opinion and I could well be wrong, but I don't think I am. Um, my diet's never been the best. It could be a combination of a few things. You know, the COVID jab triggering it, even because I've i I've always had a lot of sugar. I've never really looked after myself as I should. I've been very naughty. Um, and when I said that on, on, on Calibis for Elf Radio, I could see Ian, I wasn't going to say his name, I could see him. I, uh, should I have said that? Fuck it. Yeah, I could see him, and it was like. Mm. It, it, I could see him, but he couldn't see me because there was something wrong with my fucking phone or something, I don't know. <clears throat> um. And if you listen to it, you'll, you'll listen that the, the, the conversation was co closed quite quickly, which indicates to me that there's some kind of believing the same thing as me for him and Corey to, I think, kind of agree, but want to get out of the way quick, you know, because it's very, very touchy subject, and I'm talking about the fucking government here. <laughs> what are you going to do? Fucking kill me. <laughs> anyway, we'll go peace because I'm being rang again, so uh, I'll put the pictures up on that. Adios, I will not be defeated. Come on, keep trying to drive past her. You are kidding me. You can't tell me. Now, if I removed, where is it, that bit, somewhat there, 
That's not a fucking art. You can't tell me that's not meant for me. Fucking holy shit, man. Wow. Jesus. Fucking hell.